Hi friends, uh, today we will be dealing with the working of a um, crescent type pump or a charging pump. Uh, it's theoretical working and also how practically it works. So, uh, what's the purpose of a crescent type pump? Uh, crescent type pump are uh, used in automatic transmission vehicles and uh, normally engaged between the uh, torque converter and the gearbox. This is a crescent type pump over here. Uh, it will be mounted towards the torque converter and this side towards the gearbox or the transmission. Uh, what's its purpose? It gives adequate flow uh, towards the uh, gearbox uh, for its normal working and also uh, the oil inside the torque converter uh, will be uh, having a circulation through this uh, charging pump uh, towards the gearbox and how it circulates inside the torque converter. So uh, now let's see which are the major components of a uh, charging pump. So. I have drawn a charging pump and its internal components. Mainly the charging pump has uh, three components. One is the casing as you can see over here which is split into uh, two parts. Uh, we'll open it up and see. And uh, there are two internal gears. Uh, one is the driving gear, the green one, the small one. That is the internal gear. And uh, we have an external gear that is the driven gear. And that's the external gear. Let's uh, open up the charging pump and see. This is how it uh, looks okay. Now let's open it up. This is the rear portion of the casing, so we'll be removing it like this. And we have uh, the crescent at the center. We have uh, this uh, driven gear, that's the external gear, and the driving gear, which is at the center. So let's take it out. This is the uh, driving gear, the smaller one in the center, and this is the driven gear. That's the outside. That's uh, the external gear, and we have the crescent. The crescent is a part of the casing itself. So let's assemble it back. The external gear over here and the internal gear or the driving gear here okay now let's see how uh, this particular unit works uh, the drive from the engine uh, from the torque converter see this dot will reach the internal gears uh, the torque converter will be mounted here so uh, the drive will reach the internal gears uh, which make uh, this gear to work as the driving gear which makes it rotate so uh, the rotation of the torque converter will be reflected here as the torque converter is rotating in the anti clockwise direction when we look from the rear. We can see that uh, the internal gear is also rotating in anti clockwise direction. So, when it rotates in anti clockwise direction, see uh, the states are getting engaged towards the uh, driving gear or the external gear, I mean the driven gear or the external gear. So, it makes them also to rotate. So, uh, this is the portion where the gears are getting disengaged and here it gets engaged. So, the disengaging pressure, there is a low pressure created over here, disengaging area low pressure is created and that's why the oil is being sucked uh, from the gearbox at this point so this works as the inlet and where the gear is engaged uh, works as outlet because when the gear is engaged the oil is pushed outside through here so let's assemble the uh, rear part of the crescent pump so it will be assembled like this so it comes like this so uh, the bigger portion the bigger uh, part is the Inlet port and the smaller port is the outlet port. So uh, this portion will be connected towards the gearbox like this. So uh, the inlet port will be sucking the oil from the strainer of the gearbox and the outlet port will be uh, given towards the filter of the gearbox. And this flow will be uh, helping to create the required pressure inside uh, the gear pump, uh, sorry, the gearbox uh, for its normal working. So let's see how a torque converter flow is being uh, uh, redirected or circulated. So, this is the present type pump. We keep it like this, and we have a torque converter over here. The right part of the torque converter. See this box? Uh, this is uh, fixed towards the charging pump, and this box will be engaging with the internal gears of the present pump. Uh, so the drive from the torque converter will be transmitted towards the internal gears of the present pump. Like this, it is fixed, and uh, so when it rotates, the drive reaches the internal gears, and uh, you can see the shaft of the uh, rear portion of the casing of the present to which. Uh, the stator of the torque converter is also fixed. So, uh, this is how it is fixed. So, this is the whole uh, torque converter and a crescent uh, uh, type pump fixed over here. And towards this portion, uh, we will be having uh, the gearbox. Uh, I think you understand. Uh, thank you.